Fun Hustler here today. Gotta do some work. Definitely gonna do a hot shot. Gonna go to the awesome thrift store with the big line. I think it's gonna be a great day. I want you guys to come with me. Let's go. What's up guys and gals, Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of my spaceship. I'm about to go into this Starbucks and do about two, maybe three hours of work. And then we're gonna go do a hot shot. So everything's all timed right. It's early in the morning. I think I'll find some really good things today. So yeah, let's get in the coffee shop. I need to get some caffeine waffy. That's caffeine. It's caffeine. It's caffeinies. The eBay algorithm, it's Cassini. Five billion times. All right, so done with the coffee shop, did a bunch of stuff. I actually tagged up some stuff for the antique booth, which I'm going to be dropping off later. One of the other things I did is I put up a post in the green room regarding the meetup that we're planning for the summertime. Now it's kind of up in the air what month we're going to pick, but it's going to be really, it's going to be a really big reseller meetup. So uh, that's something in the works right now. Should be, I mean, should be a lot of fun. Would you guys come to Austin to not only hang out with other resellers, but meet the Bonafide Hustler, uh, let me know down below. That's something I'm planning right now uh, with Raken and with College Picker. So let's get to the first thrift store and see if we can find anything there. Almost at the first Goodwill. I'm pumped up. Today I aim to see four, maybe five thrift stores. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yesterday, kind of interesting thing, I put a pre-order down a non-refundable deposit of all things uh, for a really uh, rare BMX that's coming out I believe March of this year so um, in 2014 I bought this one BMX bike uh, for around 740 bucks and uh, I recently listed it for over two grand and um, we'll see if I get it or whatever but it's a extremely extremely collectible bike and my predictions were absolutely like right that it was gonna be collectible. With this other bike that I am bidding on, which is called a Haro Bashguard 2019 26er, um, it's gonna be a game. It's gonna be an. It's gonna be in that category of bike again. But this time, I'd be purchasing the bike for around thirteen hundred dollars. And uh, my my hopes is to not even build it. Just put the actual uh, box in my attic, and then in about a year, you know, flip it for two maybe three grand something like that so that's just what i'm kind of looking into but i did put my name down for one of them so it's pretty neat i'm excited for thrift days because you never know what you're gonna get ever 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 well you want some candy canes peeps 99 cents oh some cool ugg boots here man these are really nice Oh, don't look at me like that. Okay, I didn't find anything that goodwill, but I'm at the savers now. And uh, let's see if we can find anything here. But first, follow your arrow wherever it points. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, 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 ew. Whoa, throwback, cool. The thing was saying, hey you, hey you, with all those amazing items in your cart. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? You lie, you lie. Yo, lady, sit your ass down. Sit your ass down, lady. Sit your ass down. All right, it's drizzling out here. Didn't find anything in there. I mean, there were some things that just could make what I want to make, uh, you know out of it. Uh, at that last Goodwill, there was some Ugg boots that might have sold for 100, they might have sold for 50. You know, I, can't, I don't like the maybes, I like the definites. And so, go wait in line at the uh, old lady thrift store and uh, see if I can find anything there. It's always a fun day. It's always a fun day at that thrift store, so let's get in line. 
Let's wait. All right, the line doesn't look too bad at all. I stand a chance of making some good money here. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so three more minutes. Three more minutes. Let's see if we can get something in this bag today. Gonna miss you in that. All right, so I popped on this two-piece top and bottom Under Armour Storm, aka cold weather gear, um, snowboard jacket and snowboard pants combo. This should be able to sell, ah, uh, you know, somewhere between 100 and 200 on eBay, maybe 80 locally, something like that. 100 to 200 on eBay is probably what I'm gonna be shooting for for this. All right, so I actually just had some tacos at Taco Deli. I didn't film it. I know, I know, I should have, but I didn't. Huge mistake. So a couple things I need to do today. I'm gonna see one more thrift store, uh, probably close to my house. I'm also gonna pick up some very special eggs from Whole Foods that are super good. Yeah, we're gonna have a look at that. When I get home, I'm gonna have some of them. But these are like the best eggs ever. So I'm gonna, I gotta pick those things up. I gotta score a mountain bike ride today, I think, around two o'clock. And then I gotta work on some other things when I get home. Should be a lot of fun gonna continue the day if you're liking these vlogs then let me know down below I spent a little too long at a thrift store today I had a conversation with someone that seemed to be like a two-minute conversation or a five-minute projected conversation and turned out to be like a 30-minute one probably was even closer to an hour honestly so that kind of wrecked my day a little bit but anyway it is what it is and um, I don't really get into too much of those you know long conversation kind of things but um, Every now and then, every now and then, you, I guess you kind of just do. Let me ask you guys a question. When a conversation goes way too long and you kind of want to get out, what do you do? What do you do? It's not that the conversation was just dry or weird or I wasn't interested. It's just like I had places to go, you know? What do you guys do out there to break away from a conversation just because you have, like, things to do? All right, I'm at the antique mall. It's back there, trust me. I'm gonna go do a drop off real quick and check on the booth, see how it's doing. And notable sales in the past couple days that are pretty cool. Um, yesterday, what did I sell yesterday? That was awesome. Oh yeah, like a mid-century desk sold yesterday and I got like $93, that was pretty good. And then before that, there was something else that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, a cosplay jacket that was really neat that I got from Goodwill for I think 29 bucks sold for like 100 bucks. So that was pretty awesome too. And that was the day before uh, yesterday. So anyways, you know, some interesting things sell from the antique booth as long as it's, you know, very odd vintage retro antique and like that oddity kind of thing because the cosplay jacket was a little bit more current day, but it was super weird looking. It looked like something from like the Rocketeer. Um, that sold really quickly in the booth. It I don't think it even lasted three weeks in there. So um, the mid-century modern desk did take um, three months to sell. So, but it's all good. You know, it was a desk, and I was able to put other stuff on the desk that did sell. So it wasn't too bad of a hustle. Let me get in there and put some things in the booth, and let's see how it looks. All right, I was gonna put this Dooney purse in there, but uh, a similar one to this one. I mean, the identical one sold for over 200 on eBay. So I'm gonna take that one out, list that on its own. That was found last Wednesday. Got a Barbie Ferrari, a letter E, a pair of boots, some water container looking thing, and a NASA hat and this old box right here. That's what's being dropped off today. Let's get in the booth. So the bummer when a desk sells that was right there in your booth is that everything that was on the desk kind of just like flies all over the place. So all this stuff was on the desk. So I gotta make sure that that all gets back to normal. And uh, yeah. that's booth reality for you. But things like desks or tables are great. And then when they're gone, you're like, Ugh, what the hell? And then we'll get this stuff out where it needs to be. It's like boots are selling. Got some boot spaces here. You gotta put some boots in there. Yeah, just get with it, man. That's a fair amount. Of, there's some work that needs to be done today, so I'm gonna kind of get to it, and then we'll see the finished result. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Look at this. It's getting better slowly man Whew. one of the things about the antique booth is like you have to use some like nice showcase space like this like there was something i hung here earlier uh last week and here it's gone you know and then we got this thing just chilling right here 
So I gotta put something else right here to showcase it. All right, I think it's good enough to leave now. Looks much better. And we got things where that needs to be. Spaces in the boot wall are all filled up. I got everything looking good. And I am running 50% off sale right now. I want to thin some of this out before I find more stuff, you know? That's what's up. There's the booth. See you later, booth. See you later. Off to Whole Foods. For the best eggs in the world. Hopefully they have them. Nope, nope, yes. This is what you need to be getting, guys. Right here, Vital Farms, pasture raised. Best eggs ever. Not exactly cheap, but so worth it. Last Goodwill of the day, right here. Can we find some cheddar here? I don't know, I will look hard. All right, I'm gonna pop on this Gore bike wear jacket. The convertible sleeves, it can be a vest. This is a 15 bucks, it's probably a $100 sale, probably. Solid find, man, you don't find this every day. So yeah, Gore Windstopper is really, really important stuff because when you're cycling, this is what this is for, road cycling. You know, sometimes you get hot, so you wanna peel the sleeves off. And so, you know, but you wanna also break the wind. So that's how you do it. You can have long sleeve or short sleeve configuration or basically vest configuration. And on uh, really windy days, you're gonna wish you had one of these things. So it's an awesome condition. It's probably been worn like two or three times. Perfect. I'll be listing that today. At the Hustler Casa, about to have some of these eggs. And so this is a Costco pasture raised egg right here. Let's take a look what it looks like. I'm gonna crack it, then I'll pick up the camera. Hold on. All right, then I'm gonna crack a Vital Farms one right here, put it on the side. And you can see a difference in color. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I'm gonna try to get the shade up. You can kind of see right there that one is definitely darker than the other. It's a much higher grade egg right here. So you're look at, really looking for an orange, a super deep orange looking egg for the right eggs. These. I don't know, I suspect the Costco ones aren't exactly super pasture raised or anything like that, but these Vital Farm ones absolutely are higher in omega-3 fatty acids, so long as you don't just cook the absolute crap out of them. And um, yeah, they're just good. They're a little bit oilier. It just feels, it's a better egg. And so if you are cracking eggs and you see just yellow, all day yellow, probably wanna start searching around for better eggs uh, because those chickens are probably stepping all over each other. They're stepping on all kinds of weird stuff, feces, and they're eating crappy grain. Whereas a pasture raised chicken is on a pasture, right? And it, uh, gets to eat, it gets to eat bugs and like random stuff and things in the ground and wander around and it's a healthy, good chicken, not stressed out or anything like that. And it goes back in the coop at night. Um, and yeah, it's a, I mean, do the research and you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, you definitely don't wanna get eggs from chickens that have been, that are just in like hen houses and they're stepping all over each other. And, all over their own poop and it's just really weird so anyways you can tell the difference when you get a pasture raised egg versus a non it's pretty obvious i went on a mountain bike ride yesterday had a great evening and everything like that but it's the next day i'm out of the gym and everything like that thought i'd show you the breakfast that i'm eating because it's pretty nutritious and i'm definitely on an early stage of a cutting process which will finalize somewhere around the summer something like that here's what i'm eating today we have a whole avocado right there we have four um, pasture raised eggs and I talked to you guys about the pasture raised eggs earlier in the video got a little bit of ketchup and salt and pepper and four pieces of organic Canadian bacon that's all in there right there and we also have some nice gluten-free oatmeal with Walden's syrup probably not the best syrup ever but it's much better than getting you know tons and tons of sugar with traditional maple syrup so this one has zero calories and that is the first real meal of the day alongside a protein shake, which is mostly vegan protein and some, and some collagen protein and some amino acids. So that's basically it. It's the first meal of the day in about two, two and a half hours, I'll eat again, but I thought I'd show you this meal. You know, hopefully for some of you guys and gals out there that maybe wanna turn a new leaf this year or something like that, you can kind of see what I am eating. And if you wanna follow my fitness journey or just see what I'm up to on my other channel, go check it out. It's called Bod Dam. B-O-D-D-A-M-N. Um, I would love to see you over there. 
But uh, anyways, yeah, after this, I'm gonna go take pictures of the stuff that I found yesterday, even though I thought I was gonna list it yesterday. I'm gonna take the pictures of that stuff today, and I'm gonna take a pictures of a couple other things today, and I'll bring you in the garage after this. So let me eat, let me eat my food. <laughs> Please, can I, can I just eat my food? I'm going to eat my food. I'm gonna do it, and then I'll see you after. All right, the stuff to be shot today, this, not an Orvis Batten kill, but this is actually a Diamond Bluff bag right here. Um, but yeah, very similar to o Orvis, uh, very similar to a Batten kill Orvis bag. This is a smaller version right here, just to carry some random stuff around. Uh, this will probably be a 80 to 100 dollar sale, and it was five bucks. We also have something I paid half off for. It's a Hartman overnight. Uh, luggage, right? And it has some water damage on it. You can kind of see, but I believe I paid half off this price if I'm not mistaken. I could have paid full price. I'm not hundred percent sure, but either way, this right here is probably an 80 to hundred dollars sale as well. All leather, um, very nice. And even has the shoulder strap inside, but missing the kind of plaque thing right here. We're going to list this Dooney right here. So not too bad. Pretty nice. That's kind of like a doctor's type bag and it has like a butterfly type opening. Let me see if I can get this thing going. It has like a butterfly type opening right here. Pretty neat, very clean, very good looking. Awesome condition. So yeah, that'll be going up for around 150, 200. I think I'm at $15, $15 into that one. Of course, that jacket we saw yesterday, that Gore bike wear right here, that's gonna be shot today. And then that Under Armour Storm, uh, you know, bottom and top, snowboard winter jacket thing is going to be shot today as well when it comes to jackets and stuff i tend to illuminate with these i use these lights up top to illuminate right here and i also have one over there that illuminates this one section right here and then i use a directional kind of light in this direction right here and that's how i'm going to shoot them all but yeah that's what's going on right now so i got about six sets of things to shoot and then i'm going to box them up and yeah, and then to, later on this evening when I'm just chilling, I'm gonna list all that stuff. Knock that out real quick. It should only take like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll box it out. It should take another 10, 15 minutes, then I should be good. All right, it's all pretty much gone. <laughs> Except for these Surfline shorts that I'm wearing. <laughs> Man, these are awesome. Check it out. Look at that. All right, it's like Chick Raid. Sweet. <sighs> no more girls. They are super itchy. I don't know why the fabric sucks, but they were cool. I decided to try them on. Uh, probably will put them in my booth for around 20 bucks. But anyways, I'm gonna go get a mountain bike ride in in one second. That, that's pretty much the vlog. Let's take a look where this stuff went. Um, you know, some of it's in a box up there. Some of it's in a box up there. Uh, one of the things is in a box up there. I put the Hartman thing here because I don't have a box just yet. Man, that sucks. And then something else is like down there. Yeah, box wall looking super strong. Look at this. Dang, I've actually expanded my shoe section like into here now a little bit, and it's probably gonna bleed into here. Uh, but this is technically all shoes and boots, like all this right here, except for that dumb Wilson's jacket right here. I don't know what that's doing there. Anyways, so that's pretty much the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler Hot Shot or Ride Along or whatever. Thanks for being here, guys. I'll see you later. Bye bye.